Okay, then we need to create our courses. So let's add the course and the courses. This is also a new post type that we would like to add. So let's go to the next step. Uh, again, remember that we have the title and the editor. And here maybe we would like to have the author. And maybe we would like to have a featured image also. Uh, at least we can have support for that one. Then we know who created each uh, course. So that might be a good idea because that might be the course responsible or something that we would like to connect to later. So let's add some fields here. Um, and I'll leave it with uh, more fields at the moment. And we would like to have a course code maybe because all courses have codes. Um, and that could be a plain text field. So we save this one. And uh, let's add a new field and let's have a semester and that could be a plain text but it could also be a relationship and this might sound a little bit strange but what you can do in the relationship is that you can select a simple and then you just get a list here where you can uh, write what you want so we can have spring 23 or maybe spring 23, uh, autumn 23, spring 24, and so on and so forth. Uh, I just leave it like that and you get the ID. Um, so then we need to be able to connect also from the course to users. So we add a field for that. Um, and we call this maybe uh, participants or students, maybe we should call that students. Um, and that is a connection to, 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 it should be a relationship down here. And we should connect that to users. Uh, again, we have no bidirectional fields and we will show this one later on. And of course, again, we need to be able to add multiple uh, users um, to each course. And we again, we select the autocomplete. And we don't want to be able to add new users at the moment. So we save it like that. And then finally, we also need a connection to the project. Um, and that is also a relationship. And the related f uh, post type is projects. We still can't find any bidirectional field because we don't have that at the moment. But I save this field and I save the pod. And now I actually can go back to our project pod and edit this one. And now we can add a field here. That is the course, and that is a relationship, um, and that is two courses. And now when we have selected that one, we still can't find anything. And this is because you need to save this first, and then we can go back and uh, fix everything. At the moment, we should have a single select, and maybe we can keep it as a drop down here, uh, because the courses will not be that many, at least not uh, in this uh, case. Um, here maybe we would like to be able to add new that means that when we are creating a course we can actually create a base for uh, or some we can create the projects also um, or from the projects we can create a course and um, now we are at the project so maybe we, yeah we'll leave it as this save new field and i will show you how this one shows up so let's save the pod and now the final step is to go back to the courses and go to the projects and now you should be able to find the course as a bidirectional field. And when you have done that, well, then if you go back, you will see that it is also inserted into the projects. Uh, one thing that we didn't cover is that all fields that are required, you can select this one. So each project needs to belong to a course. So therefore, we leave it like that. Uh, so let's uh, save this one again. And now we have both courses and we have projects.